Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And the Pumas have just handed the Young Lions side a 50 points to 9 thrashing at the home of the Lions at uh, Emirates Airline Park. Not the return um, from actual action the Lions would have liked after the weekend, where which saw a couple of positives. And for the Pumas, after going down against the Bulls, they were back at their best and absolutely took apart a Lions side, which had no... Um, they just had no answer to the Puma side and just weren't clinical enough and made far too many errors and made it far too easy for the Puma side. And a, and a side that is a very good side, the Pumas are a quality side with some quality players. You cannot give them that many opportunities and expect them not to take them. Um, you know, just absolutely punish the Lions who could not get into the game at any point at all. Before we break the game down, please do subscribe to the channel and smash a like on the video as well. Um, it was not a good start for the Lions. They were down 10-0 pretty early um, from... And that kind of sort of, I suppose, at an early moment where Ginter Smuts um, broke from the back of a scrum very half-heartedly. The ball came loose, kicking behind from the Pumas, and Devin Williams went over for the first try of the match. That kind of sort of showed the difference, where the Lions were at times very sloppy, and every single time they were, they had a sloppy moment, then the Pumas would pounce and, and take the opportunity. And they just scored tries for fun and had a bonus point before they knew it. And the Lions... The lineup didn't function. The scrum with the starting front row was all right, but far too many handling errors, far too many tackles missed, and this Puma side looked back at their best. They were throwing the ball around. They were getting their hands through tackles. The continuity was really good, um, and, and credit to them. And But if you look at the stats, the Lions had 48% possession, so they had the ball, but they couldn't do anything with it. You know, Kicking the ball dead off penalties, um, You know, not um, not finding your jumper when you finally get a lineup in a good position. You know, knock-ons in, in, in crucial moments. It was far too easy uh, for the Pumas. You look at uh, some of the, as I said, you know, the, to have almost after possession and yet not score a single try whilst the other um, team scores seven tries, it's a bit childish. If we look at the defense, the Lions missed 14 tackles today. The Pumas missed just three, also won seven turnovers. Um, the Pumas were just better at every single facet of the game. They kicked a lot better. They kept the ball in play a lot better. Their, their, their lineup was very good. Um, you know, at the breakdown, they were far more efficient than the Lions. Lions lost quite a lot of possession at the breakdown. The Pumas more was very impressive. And the Lions more, which I thought was very good last weekend, was absolutely nowhere. Um, which a lot of it came to the fact that they lost seven lineups. Now, I don't understand how you can ever think that you could win rugby matches when you lose seven lineups. You know, in, in, in response, Pumas lost just the one. You know, so that was sort of the biggest issue for the Lions. Um, and then discipline. The first half, the Pumas made, I can see, a lot of penalties and the Lions couldn't take advantage of it. In the second half, the Lions could see far more penalties and every single time they could see the penalty, it seemed like the Pumas were kicking to the corner and managing to find ways to score points. The Pumas just absolutely took them to the cleaners, you know. Um, they outmuscled them. There were far too many, um, you know, tries, which is just pick up and goes. And, and their definition of men against boys was very much what was the case during the match because it was a young Lions side that could not cope with the pressure, the accuracy, and the intensity of a very well-coached Pumas side. So Jimmy Stardust will be going back to Imambelo with a bonus point victory in the bag. For the Lions, it's very much back to the drawing board. However, they do have a long time with that drawing board. They will be next be in action in the Curry Cup in a month's time. The Pumas will be in action in two weeks. Um, so they will um, have a nice opportunity to start sort of putting together a bit of their work. But... I mean, in terms of the difference, in terms of, of what these teams want to achieve, the Lions are not going to compete for the Curry Cup this year. That's just a reality. They don't have the squad depth to be able to name two very strong sides. But um, the Pumas, on the other hand, I think are a team that could go all the way. I think that they've got the quality. If they were to go on a decent run, um, I think they could potentially go all the way. They, they would at very least get to the semifinals because I think the Lions are obviously not going to be part of the semifinals. So it's probably, depending on how well the Western Province and, and Sharks and... Bulls managed to rotate their sides, you know, will be competing with the Cheetahs and, and the Greekers, but probably more with the Cheetahs, to who will get that final spot. Because I think the Pumas have actually been a side um, which have always looked more threatening than the Greekers have. Greekers are a much harder team to beat defensively, but the Pumas know how to score points. They play a very exciting brand of rugby. Um, so it should be a very interesting carry cup. Let me know what you thought of the game down in the comments below. As a Lions fan, I think the biggest issue is you expect to lose um, when you play such a young side with an average age of about 21. Um, I think I think the oldest player on the pitch today was about 24. And there were only about three or four players who weren't under 20 players in the entire 23. So it is a very young squad. But I think you've got to, you can't excuse basic errors. You know, your lineups have got to operate. You know, you've got to make your tackles. You've got to, you know, not drop the ball. You know, silly mistakes is what really did cost the lines 
at the end. Um, but I want to know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. Um, until then, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. My name is Steven. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll chat to you soon.